Meantime, despite a downturn in Indianapolis violent crime last year, January has become another violent month for the city. Tonight, Fox 59's Russ McQuaid shows us how city officials are trying to boost the city's anti-violent strategy in the new year. Since last July, Hoosiers don't need a permit to carry a gun. The Marion County prosecutor says gun prosecutions are way down since then, but this year, non-criminal gun homicides are way up. As of last week, non-fatal shooting incidents were up 50% this January over a year ago. As of today, all homicides are up too, and accidental, non-intentional, and self-defense gunfire killings are up also. So far this year, a man shot to death a suspected carjacker. A teen was killed when he walked up to the wrong car in a parking lot. Another teen died from the unintended discharge of a gun inside her car. A father killed his son while cleaning his rifle. Two people died in a self-defense shooting at an east side hotel. Murders may indeed be down, but all indie gun homicides are up. We will change with the changing times, and we have focused, uh, you know, intently and intensively, as David put it, uh, on murders or criminal, intentional homicides. David Muhammad of the National Institute for Criminal Justice Reform is the city's chief consultant on its strategy to spend $45 million over three years on community anti-violence grants. We were in 13 cities around the country and there's not one that is more dedicated and some of this is numeric, the highest per capita investment of ARPA dollars in violence reduction. That American Rescue Plan Act money is funding more police officers and public safety gear too as the city drills down to changing the environments where violence flourishes. How can the city help in terms of broken street lights or shrubbery that you can't look past in case somebody runs in your backyard? But it still comes back to the finger on the trigger. Right now, crime is up because what do we do? We make guns look fancy. We, as adults, we make them look appealing. So how do we begin to turn that mindset around? We can't lower our crime amongst our juveniles until we begin to earn their trust and let them know that their lives do matter. And we have to educate them on guns and the safety of guns. 2023 is the first year we should see the full results of the first $15 million of the $45 million Mayor Hogg said has earmarked for anti-violence elevation grants. This would be the year when those results would come in or last year's plans would be retweaked for success. On the east side, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. All right, Russ, thank you. Still ahead here live at 5, a potential new solution to high prescription costs. Tonight, the digital company 